If you've been following what we've been doing lately, you know that we've been highlighting National Mentorship Month, which is this month. But let's go into what I feel mentorship means. As you all know, I'm Paul Schmidt, the owner of Introduce Multimedia. And growing up, I didn't really feel like I had a true mentor. I mean, you can consider your parents, but I'm talking about outside the home. I could probably pinpoint one person growing up through where I grew up, high school, into even college, one adult or leadership figure that I would consider a true mentor even though I probably didn't know that I was being bombarded with mentors and I didn't see it. So what does that really mean? If you take a look at what organizations that are out there that actually dive deep into the mentorship process that get to kids at a young age, you know, the organizations that we've talked about like Men Making a Difference or Boys and Girls Club of Lansing or even the Girl Scouts Heart of Michigan, all organizations that we find ourselves working with that really take it upon themselves to get to the early stages of for youth and helping them evolve and develop into the positive human beings that they can be for the community. And I look back and I, I just realized that mentorship really has actually shaped me, even though I may not have had the formative mentorship. I mean, I was in Boy Scouts, but I didn't stay with it. It just wasn't something that's saying to me, you know, like I said, going into situations, I've, I don't think I really thought of folks that were around me as mentors. And I thought it was an interesting situation to now where I really try to be a mentor to my colleagues, to youth I've had experience to be around, internship, interns, stuff like that. Because I feel like sometimes being a mentor doesn't mean that you come around with a big plaque on your chest that says, I'm a mentor. It means that you're there to give guidance where it's necessary, give education where it's needed, a presence that some of the folks don't feel like they've had, just having somebody there to support them. Those are the things that I think are the most crucial when it comes to mentorship and why it's important for me to be able to give back to the community I'm in, and the people I'm around as much as possible. So when mentorship happens to you, embrace it, whether as a mentor or as an MNT, because you don't know who you're going to be able to reach. Open yourself up to those possibilities. So, as I mentioned, I mentioned several organizations that we work with that we've highlighted this month. There's plenty of others that we have worked with in the past that do the same type of thing. So check those out. Give a like or a thumbs up on this video. Make sure if you have any comments, leave them in the comments. Let's start a conversation. All in all, you can follow us on the socials as well as please join our email newsletter so you can catch up on all the different months and different causes that we're going to highlight each month throughout 2023. And if you have any questions, you know where to find us, introduce.com. And as always, we're here to tell your story because there's always another story to tell. But before you leave, make sure you check out this video right here that goes and talks about the Girl Scouts, Heart of Michigan, and what exactly they do for their community. Oh.